let's talk about why you cannot compare mascara and eyelash extensions because they just simply are not the same things. You've seen the mascara ads on commercials and magazines and you've definitely seen so many different new mascara options that are coming out honestly on a consistent basis but there is a reason why you just cannot compare mascara to eyelash extensions and there is a big reason as to why mascara companies are saying don't get eyelash extensions in their marketing or comparing mascara to eyelash extensions in their marketing and it's extremely misleading. So first let's talk about what mascara actually is. What is the definition of it? Well, mascara is defined as a cosmetic substance for darkening, lengthening, curling, coloring, and thickening the eyelashes applied with a brush or a rod. And let's just talk about a little brief history of mascara. So during the Victorian era, Social opinion shifted radically towards the promotion of cosmetics, and women were known to spend a majority of their day occupied with beauty regimens. Not a whole lot different from today. But great efforts were made to create the illusion of long, dark eyelashes. Attempting this, Victorian women made a type of mascara in their own homes. They would heat a mixture of ash, or lamp black, and elderberry juice on a plate and apply the heated mixture to their eyelashes. The product that people would recognize as mascara today did not develop until the 19th century. A chemist named Eugene Rimmel developed a cosmetic using the newly invented petroleum jelly. The name Rimmel became synonymous with the substance and still translates to mascara in the Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, Turkish, Romanian, and Persian languages today. Across the Atlantic Ocean and at roughly the same time, in 1915, Thomas Lyle Williams created a remarkably similar substance for his sister, Mabel. In 1917, he started a mail order business from the product that grew to become the company Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline, right? And isn't it amazing how men actually came up with these products? But you hear so much about how men really would prefer their women to be a lot more subtle and less made up. I beg to differ. So the main purposes of mascara are for the thickening and lengthening and volumizing of the eyelashes. The eyes just really make a big difference. So when the eyes are played up, it is something that just really draws people in. But mascara, no matter how you shake it, it is a product that is pretty hard to clean off in one full swoop. And even if you have found a mascara that doesn't cause the lashes to get a big clumpy mess. Having full natural lashes is really required if you are going to have a mascara applied to your lashes that is going to make your lashes really more full and really pop. So eyelash extensions just really does a whole lot more than what mascara can do on its own no matter how much they play up the product. But if you look at the marketing of mascara, you will see many ads where there is fine print that says, lashes enhanced with lash inserts or digitally enhanced. And it's marketing. So when they pit mascara against eyelash extensions there really is no comparison and there really is no reason for them to do this because mascara and eyelash extensions are really not the same thing 
yes, they are meant to achieve the same purpose, but one can do something that the other cannot, and mascara is not for everyone, and just as well, eyelash extensions are not for everyone either. So whether the lashes are played up with individual eyelash extensions, eyelash inserts, a small eyelash strip to make the lashes fuller, and then adding mascara to the base and wriggling it up to the tips to make the lashes look fuller and appear as bold and as vol voluminous as the mascara companies would want you to think that the mascara can do on its own, Unfortunately, a lot of the ads do use eyelashes, lash inserts, or they digitally enhance the lashes. It's just a part of marketing. Some people love to wear both. They love to get their eyelashes done and they also like to add mascara to their lashes as well, especially when the eyelash extensions are growing out. We definitely do not recommend doing both because one, mascara is pretty hard to clean and most makeup removers do have some oil based properties to them and with the eyelash extensions adhesive that is used to adhere the extensions to the natural lashes you want to avoid oil based products at all costs because oils will eventually break down the adhesive that is used to apply the extensions to the natural lashes so you would not want to use a makeup remover with oil-based properties which will help to break down that adhesive and eventually cause those extensions to come off and slide off of the natural lashes. Eyelash extensions are meant to be worn until the natural lash has grown out and shed and come to the end of its life cycle as new natural lashes are growing in. When a client is wearing eyelash extensions and they are not causing any issues with the lash bed by applying mascara or other makeup products that tend to clump and build up in the eye area, it makes for a much better experience with the application of new eyelash extensions as the natural lashes are growing out and keeping up with the eyelash extensions maintenance appointments. So the deception in mascara ads is definitely a real thing. And there was even a situation some years ago where an ad was called out that was using Taylor Swift for a mascara ad. And they were being called out because the ads were deceptive. But unfortunately, a lot of the mascara ads are deceptive in their practices of marketing because it definitely is trying to showcase that the mascara can do what eyelash extensions can do as well. They never say that the mascara can do what eyelash extensions can't do. They say that the mascara can do what the eyelash extensions can do, but usually they're using eyelashes in some way to play out the person's eyes. So essentially it is deceptive marketing. So if you're gonna choose one or the other, whether it's wearing mascara or wearing eyelash extensions, do your research, be realistic. Even if you are someone that wants to get eyelash extensions done and your natural lashes are pretty thin and sparse and you see an image of someone on Instagram that has these really thick, bold, voluminous, long, luscious lashes, it is possible that what you are looking at is something that cannot be achieved for you either because even with eyelash extensions, it depends on the base of the client's lashes to work with in order for what we are able to achieve for you as the client. The base that you are beginning with is always a very important and deciding factor in what the outcome will be for you and what we can achieve in terms of the beauty look that you are going for. And the same goes with mascara. If your base is not as strong and it is not as full and long and thick as what you are hoping to achieve just by merely putting on some mascara, then you're usually going to be disappointed. So you would need to have 
the help of eyelash enhancements added to your natural lashes to really, really give you that much longer fuller look that you are going for. Mm -hmm.